Hey guys, it's me Ram the Cubo and today I'm going to be showing you guys the parity algorithm I use for 4x4. So basically what parity is, is when you have an incorrect number of edges solved on a 4x4. Like on a 3x3, you can only have none of the edges, two of the edges or all of the edges solved, 1, 2, 3, 4. But on a 4x4, parity is when you either have just one of the edges solved or three of the edges which which might look weird to you guys uh, in, if you've just started 4x4 but I'm gonna be showing you guys the algorithm for it let's go okay so the way you hold the parity cases is if you have one edge solved then you can hold it anywhere except for that one place where the edge is solved so you can hold it uh, where the edges are flipped like you can hold it here here or here but if you have three of the edges solved then you can only hold it from the uh, edge you need to flip you can't hold it from here 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 you can only hold it from here so that's where you hold it from and then and in the next clip i'm going to show you the algorithm for it so like i said you hold it like this and you sl put slice this down r prime then you do a u2 slice this down and do an l then f2 and then slice this back up l prime f2 again and then you do r2 u2 r slice uh, slice those r u2 r prime slice that down u2 then f2 r2 and then f2 and the so that edge will be completely flipped and that's how you solve the OLL parity. Let's move on to the PLL parity. Okay, so if you guys know one look PLL like full PLL, then you'll realize that this is not a case from PLL because it has a full side solved then three pieces like that, three pieces at the back, which isn't any case. If this was uh, orange, red, red, orange, then it would be the T perm, but this has the full side solved, so it's nothing so you'll know it's not any case but however if you do two look uh, pll don't worry you'll still realize once you do your a perm from the bottom let me show you guys then you'll realize that uh, it's not a u perm it's not an h perm neither it's a z perm so then you'll realize oh this is none of these so then you'll uh, then you just execute the pll parity which is just uh, r2 the slice twice u2 r2 again slice twice and then this middle layer u w2 like the two layers at the at a time and then do this sli slice r2 again and then uh, do this uh, u2 and then you'll get a any of the three cases h perm z perm or u perm now we've ended up with a z perm so i'll just end up solving it and that's the end of the parity algorithm for 4x4 so i hope you guys learned something from this video let me know uh, some other videos i should make and thanks for watching bye